first, let's talk about what you make of what happened on Saturday. It's generated a lot of conversation that these activists from Black Lives Matter would challenge not just Democratic Party candidates, but the liberal most Democratic Party candidates. What do you make of it? Well, look, both candidates, all candidates ought to have an agenda that deals with the issues that the black community are grappling with right now, to include police violence, to include economics, to include all the issues that the Black Lives Matter activists uh, raised. Uh, the problem with the candidates starts at the top, to include Bernie Sanders. They ought to hire black people to advise them in their campaign instead of just organizing that group of white men, which Bernie Sanders is guilty of doing too, and letting those people try to uh, filter what it is that the candidates get. Bernie has a great economic message. Uh, his foreign policy message as, as it relates to Israel and Palestine isn't one that I can buy into. But, but obviously Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley have a whole lot to do to, to try to, um, have, to get the black voters to pay attention to them. And, um, you know, they, they better be ready for the confrontation. Now, Bernie Sanders' response to people that raise questions about where he stands on the issues, be it Israel and Palestine or the police and Black Lives Matter and civil rights, if his um, uh, uh, tact is going to be to yell at people and to think that he can talk over them and be, pretty, uh, be a grumpy old man, <laughs> he'll lose a lot of support. 